welcome back to the channel in this video i'll be showing you something about ship combat ship combat has changed a bit in the nimbus c obviously ships are well much more difficult in the nimbus c but they're the only ones that drop nimbus sealed charts i mean chests not charts and another thing to note is that they drop it from sinking on and you can also get them from underwater charts i mean underwater structures and you can also get them from dredge charts obviously but ship sinking is probably the best way to get it there are new parts mostly hull parts and there is a new sail part which i have here it's called the willow sail and it's it's about the same honestly just one more stat basically against the sail class so it's there's no real point to it but i do want to get the new hull part which is apparently better in hull than even the archaic hull so i want to do that now first things first i want to show you guys something a, tr a trick where you can get basically three to four chests per ship that ship will drop like three or four chests how well Obviously, we had a deckhand update a long time ago now, and deckhands can obviously have artifacts, and there's a certain artifact called the lucky coin, which increases the chance of getting an additional sealed chest from sinking enemy ships. And guess what? We're going to max that out. So I'm going to give all my deckhands lucky coins. Each deckhand can hold two of the artifacts when they're maxed out and the cool thing about it is that it all stacks so by doing this we're gonna get the highest percentage of getting that extra sealed chest from these ships this is the last one and also don't forget uh, don't forget about getting a merchant deck hand that's how I am getting a lot of the new items it's through these merchant deckhands and just the deckhands in general. So if I give this one, I now have full lucky coin set up. I can then go to Moreno here. Moreno is my shop, my merchant. And here he already sells me Black Skimmer Helmet. Every time you join the game, it'll tell you something different. I've gotten Arcanium Arc Spheres, Arcanium Helmet, chest piece, pants, every new every new item in the game, honestly, through that. He doesn't sell anything that is above uncommon. So he'll only sell stuff uncommon and below, basically. But that's still usable. We got a total of three chests from this one, which is pretty good. But you can, in fact, get four chests. I am not sure if I can get five. I haven't seen a ship drop five yet. But if you could, that would... if. I think you can, I'm not sure, but we'll see. First, I'm going to go redock this ship, and then with a ram, and then we'll start grinding a lot of these stuff. The NPCs killed each other. That is that is funny. Also, I got a piercing scroll from just opening the chest. That is <gasps> resistance amulet. That's what I've been looking for. The 
problem that I have with the Navy when you're a villain is that even if you sink their ship, they will never stop attacking you. Like, they will never, never stop attacking you. Like, no one will stop coming after you. Like it, And that lags the game out, which I think it should change. Like, for example, for pirate ships, they just teleport back to their ship once they are they once you go far away enough. The navy ships too. The navy should do that as well, but they don't. Like, it's genuinely, it just lags the game out as a villain. That's why I don't like being a villain. But like in this update, we're kind of, if you want to do PvP, we're kind of forced to be a villain because the fame change that you can't damage fame players at all just completely ruined it like I get the idea that uh, villain players is bad to be a villain it's much more difficult to be a villain I, 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 I understand that but it's so unoptimized like genuinely it's it's a bit it's very annoying to be honest yep in a bit you'll see captain like like right there like it's they will never ever stop Stop trying to hunt you. It is so annoying. Anyways, now I've got a decent amount of, of chests on my ship now. I haven't gotten four from any of them, but that's because that's probably because I haven't. I can't. One, I can't see anything. But two is that I haven't seen any like heavy armored ships so far. So that might be the cause of it. I'm not sure. Oh, there's one thing right here. We got uh, four chests. Yeah, from this one we got four chests. Yeah. So this is a what is this ship? This is an armored catch. It's interesting. Fine, it took care of the navy now. Okay. And that thing is gonna hit me probably because I'm a villain. Never mind, it's not. Where is the thing? There it is. Yeah, it is. Hey, my ship! My ship! After I get a bit more chests, I'll be showing you guys a neat little trick that you can do. Now, we will go to the Bronze Sea. And by going to the Bronze Sea, we'll be testing out the new system, the new ship, the ship chest system, this thing, view ship storage. Right now, I have zero chests inside here. All of these chests up here will then go inside the ship once we are done. And there's a cool trick you can do with it. And you can put literally any amount and anything inside of it, by the way. So you can put cargo, you can put dark seal chests, you can put bronze seal chests. You can put anything in it. It does not matter. But I don't think it counts towards its, like, I don't think you can you re you repair stuff by the use of it. I'm not entirely sure. That might be a really broken way to make, like, a, like, a, like an invincible ship. But I'm not entirely sure if that's, that, that's possible. But I'll have to test that in the future. But right now, it's... It, it's a pretty cool system like to be honest it's a very very cool system like that we can uh bring cargo across seas that's a very new system and it's very cool as well yep and there we have the thing now we have to make sure we're not in combat obviously and all it said there our ch our stuff will go into the storage then we will spawn at Ravenna, not at Ravenna, we will spawn in the Bronze Sea on our ship. Now, as you can see, all of our things have disappeared, but they are, they are all inside here, our Nimbus sealed chests. The cool thing you can do, you can leave the game right now. Like how I'm going to do right now. I am now in the title screen. In fact, I can leave all of Arkin Odyssey as a whole. It will stay in the chest. I mean, it'll stay in the ship. I'm not sure if it's that intended, but it, it makes sense. Because one, you haven't, your ship hasn't sunk. 
two, you haven't, you didn't leave by combat. I'm pretty sure if you do leave, if you do combat log with your ship, you will lose your stuff. But I think uh, you won't lose it if you just don't be in combat and if you log out safely. I'm pretty sure that that's how it works. And I think this is intended because I did it. I did it with my with a, a test a while back. And basically, I can then just rejoin the game. I can leave for however many much time I want. I'm not sure actually if I can do that. It might be like a, like a one hour timer. You can only leave for like an hour or something. I don't know. But let's go back to, let's say, I'll just say the number C again. So this one. And we will spawn at some area without our ship. We won't be on our ship. And basically, our cargo has been saved on our ship, possibly. The cool thing about this is that you can basically save up cargo, grind up cargo, save them up, make sure you don't sink with them. It's like a risk and reward type thing. Make sure you don't sink with it. And basically, you can well save it up for like a luck party so that's like that's really cool that you can now do that so you can save up let's just say like 50 or 100 uh seal chests any type of seal chest dark seal chest or any type you can save them up and then you can open them up during a luck four or luck five party or something like with luck four or something so that honestly is really cool. So if I go and dock my ship, as you can see, they're still inside here, which is just so cool. And you can keep stacking stuff in. So if you want to go and get more seal chest, you can go and do and do that. It's awesome. I love this like ship system now. It's genuinely it's really cool. But now I'm gonna sell the stuff so you can what the way you sell the stuff is you just, you just do it the same way as you would as you would do it normally by just talking to your deckhand i mean not deckhand your quartermaster then talk to nizer unload the ship and you have to be near a, a thing a sh, a sh, what was it a shipwright and it'll sell everything one by one the same way as if it was on your ship it would be nice if it did sell it like all at once but I think that would, that would just make it kind of pointless. And a cool thing, a very, very cool thing. You, if you take control of a ship, you can stop unloading the ship. Which, that genuinely is a very, very good change. That helps stop a lot of bugs. And you can then just stop your ship from unloading anytime you want. And yeah, that's just, that's just, it's just an awesome, awesome change. So let's see what we get from all the 26 Nimbus Seal chests, as well as I'm looking forward to getting a silver uh, thing. What do you call it? Silver hull. And the last one. And I didn't get it, I don't think, if I missed it or something. Let's see, highest level. Yep, I did not get it still. That's a pretty rare hull to get, basically. Yeah, it's pretty rare. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, ship, ship farming, ship farming stuff is pretty, pretty cool now. You can put chests inside your ship, and you can store them for later use to sell them or to even use them. I, I'm gonna test this thing in a bit the um, the cargo one i'll i'll test this in a bit for the time being i'm just gonna play and grind some items like the build and stuff for now so i'll see you guys in the next one bye